Yeah, I don't expect them to run the ball very well against this uh, defense. I would expect a similar sort of uh, game plan this week with a lot of passing. Colorado, uh, the first th 13 offensive plays last week at Oklahoma State were passes. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to move the ball down the field methodically with short passes, maybe take some shots here and there. Uh, that's just what I would expect with with facing this kind of dominant defense. And I really feel like uh, for the Buffs to have any chance to win, their defense is going to have to kind of match that level of play. You, the one thing that cannot happen here is the Nebraska def the Nebraska offense can't be moving the fe moving the ball down the field in the in the early going and scoring points and getting a lead because. You know, we've seen all year that doesn't work well for this Colorado football team. Coming from behind like that is not something that uh, they've, they've been well. super effective at. It they've, they've come back a little bit uh, here and there, but it, the defense has to match the Nebraska defense's level of play. And and uh, if that can happen and the game can stay close into you know the latter stages, fourth quarter, if this is a touchdown game then I think Colorado playing at home where they play their best football will have a chance to win. Colorado but. can win this game, and I think they're going to, and I'll tell you why. Nebraska turns the ball over. Colorado has, has won, won the turnover battle at OSU, uh, you know, came close to winning that game. I think they'll win the turnover battle this weekend uh, or Friday. I think they win the turnover battle because Nebraska is a team that's very prone to turnovers. They had eight, against, eight in a loss against Iowa State. They almost had another one in the end zone last week, and they, and they recovered it. So this is a team that I think Colorado can force some turnovers, get the momentum on their side, and, and win a low-scoring game. I, I certainly don't expect a high-scoring game, but, uh, you know, I picked against the bus last week. I'm going to go back the other way this week. I like that win, lose two, win one, lose two, win one. It all points to a Colorado win. Colorado wins this game 17-14. Wow. Low scoring. Here's, a, here's another key for me. I, I think that both teams have relatively young quarterbacks. I mean, Tyler has played a little bit now and has experience from two different seasons to draw upon. And, and Nebraska has a young quarterback now, too. <laughs> and I think whichever one of those two guys plays well, that team might win the game. I'm not, I'm not saying that that's definitely going to happen. You know, uh, one guy could play, you know, really well and, and still lose. We've seen that happen a, a couple times with Tyler this year. So uh, I wouldn't also be surprised to see uh, Tyler's fighting a thumb deal. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> the week that Dan says that. Dan uh, says this is his last hurrah. Right. Well, Dan that's says that he, if he had it to do over again, he wouldn't have brought Cody along with him just because of all the stuff that Cody has had to endure. It'd kind of be a neat little twist if Cody got into the game this week and, and maybe led them to a, a victory. I don't see that happening, though. I think. Uh, this Nebraska defense is just too strong, and the Colorado offense has been too shaky, too up and down, too inconsistent all year, especially the offensive line uh, from one week to another. Uh, I'll go with a low-scoring game, too, but I'll say uh, Nebraska wins 24-14. to 14. All right. We'll be here next week to talk about if there's a coaching change, if there isn't a coaching change, do a little bit of a season wrap-up, and uh, maybe even talk some hoops. 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 The best, that uh, Jeff Bezdelic and Steve McLean tandem, they can coach, huh? They can coach. Got some good who, young kids. Who hired those guys? Uh, that's Mike Bowen.